Welcome to Libby EON and Limbs. Today I'm going to show you how to do ELISA standard curve data analysis directly inside Libby. To do that, the first step will create an experiment. Under the project, just select one project that fit you. And then the title, I will just say demo ELISA. Choosing the date of the start, then click Submit. Once you click Submit it, an experiment will be created, and then click the Add button to add a new widget. So I will choose in a widget of the ELISA standard curve. If you did not see this widget, means it's not installed. You can always go to your widget store to install this widget. Click Add. The new section is being added directly. And then you will notice it will give you the interface. And this ELISA standard curve analysis in the library can be separated into three steps. Step one, prepare the layout. Step two, prepare the ELISA data. And then the last step is just analysis. And then this coming back to the layout, just if you already have a file, just simply click this icon or drop to the files into this icon. And then I will choose in like a layout. And then all the data will be imported automatically. And then it also been saved. Just a few things to mention. Uh, put the first cell as your con concentration unit using the CONC to mark the series of the stand, standard concentration in either the first column or the first row. Using STD to mark the standard, you can choose in more than one columns or the rows. Using a blank to mark a cell as a blank. Coming back to the ELISA data, you can do the same. So choosing the ELISA data, all the data will be imported and saved. Just note the first column is the concentration of your standard and it have to match the concentration listed over here. And I want to mention you can leave some blanks as empty, leave a well empty to exclude the well in the data analysis. Also will give you some warnings message over here. And then the last step is perform data analysis. It's as simple as click the analysis button. I will just click this button. The result should be done, the analysis should be done in one or two seconds and the final result is being saved. So let me go through all these steps. The first step the lab is going to do is average the blanks for you and then subtract the background, give you the new uh, value. You can always download the, this value to using other software to do the data analysis. Then we will do the standard curve fit with the linear regression and then give you the plot. Finally, give you the uh, calculate the SD, CV, the concentration. This table will give you all the samples, the average value, dilute the factor, standard deviation, CV, and final concentration. You can always click the title to sort it. Uh, for example, you can always find the one with the higher CV. Coming back, one thing we do notice is the standard curve does not fit to the, the standard very well. And actually you can change the uh, regression method. You can do so by clicking this edit icon on the top. And you will notice there are many other things you can change as well. For example, if you dilute your samples, you can change the dilute factor. And I will put a 10 as an example. You can also transform data, for example, using the log x to transform to transform all the data into log. And then for the fitting method, there are many different fitting methods to use. This is linear, log, power. Over here, I'm going to choose in the, the polynomial. And then click Submit. To update the final analysis result, you need to click the Analysis button again. So just simply going back and then click Analysis. It will do all the analysis again, and then the analysis is finished in one or two seconds. It's said finished. It's coming up, and you will notice the standard curve is fit to the standard very well. 
and then at the same time it also give you the standard error. And then now uh, the concentration is being multiplied by the dilution factor. So basically that's all for how to do the standard curve data analysis directly inside the library UN and the limbs. Please click subscribe to follow our channel. Thank you.